Hey everybody, um, just wanted to say a few things this morning, I'm not going to claim that I got a huge message for you or anything like that, but I'm sitting here at the channel in Grand Haven, um, just watching the waves rolling through the channel, um, just, I don't know, the awesome power of, of the lake and the currents and, and all that water being pushed into the channel. If you've ever seen it, you know what I'm talking about. It swells up and, and runs along the channel coming in and almost goes over the, the edge of the breakwater. Um, I know winter's coming. I'm looking out um, at the lighthouse and I can see big waves crashing on it, just about covering it up. And I'm thinking, you know, it almost looks like there's a storm coming. And yeah, in real life, in what is considered uh, our daily lives, I'm not a gloom and doom pastor, and I'm not your average pastor. Um, I don't mean that I'm better, I just mean I'm a different kind of pastor. And if you know me, you know that anyway. Um, I'm not fancy, obviously, I'm not dressed up, I'm just in my normal everyday get up early in the morning, do what I gotta do stuff. But I'm sitting here thinking, there is a storm coming. And it, it's not, hey everybody, I'm a snowflake, I'm afraid of the new president. It's, it's not about the president. It's not about any one person. It's about times are tough and crazy stuff goes on, on out there. And there's a lot of people that are doing a lot of crazy, bizarre things, cruel things, um, things that you would never expect. There's always something new. I mean, they always say that there's nothing new under the sun, and that's also biblical. But the things we're seeing, there's things that we've never seen before. The cruelty and the callousness and the lack of empathy for your fellow person and not even, not even, uh, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. But I'm not, it's, this isn't all about gloom and doom, but it is about the storm that's coming. There is a storm coming. There is um, something, you know, we're seeing things that we've, we're living life that we've never lived before. We're seeing things we've never seen before. Um, I'm only going to say the election because that's fresh in everybody's mind. There's a lot of stuff going on with the election we never saw before. There's stuff going on in the economy we never saw before or in the countries around us. Um, people have nuclear capability that never had it before. Um, just, that's world stuff. But even in your own little world, in your own circle of friends, um, your own circle, your family, um, things that you never thought would happen is happening. I'm not saying all that to say there's no hope for mankind. I'm saying all that to say we've come this far. And if you're still alive, you've made it this far. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I want to live as long as I can, doing as much as I can to make the world as good as I can. And if you're not doing that, then I pray for you and I hope that you will. I hope that you'll embrace that and you'll take it upon yourself to make your world a better place. There's a lot of things that I could say about, you know, health and, um, I don't know, doing better for yourself physically. But, you know, I'm not a poster child for that either. But live the best you can. Do the best you can and love the people around you as, as hard as you can, as much as, as often as you can. When you get a chance to see somebody, see them because you might not have another chance. There is a storm coming. Don't you want to get as much done as fast as you can? I, I'm thinking of when I was young. And it was on, on TV a lot. There was a lot of things, a lot of um, TV shows and movies and stuff that had it. Um, Wizard of Oz. Um, but other, other uh, like the movie Twister and different 
um, movies, but also in real life, I've, I've lived through uh, three or four tornadoes myself. When the storm is coming, and you know it's coming, you, you, you're thinking, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, I gotta get the windows boarded up, I gotta do whatever it is I gotta do to try to make things safer, we gotta get in the, in the safest place in the house, or we gotta go somewhere that has a basement, and you're like rushing around trying to get prepared for the coming storm. Well, I'm here to tell you that people are not doing that the way that they would be doing if they realized that it really is coming. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying that like, we all going to die today. I'm saying, you know, and, and also I'm not saying, the Lord told me to tell you that this is the way it's going to be. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in my heart, I feel an urgency. My own personal life, I feel like every moment is precious. Every minute that I'm sitting here is a minute that I didn't know I was going to have. And every, every day is a, is a fresh chance to do more, another, another opportunity. So I know I sound like I'm rambling, and, I, and I'm sorry for that. It's early in the morning. I'm not as eloquent, maybe, as I want to be early in the morning. But if you haven't told somebody you love them today, make sure that you do. Make sure that you mean it. Make sure that they know you mean it. Make sure that you do what you can for your fellow man. If you're in the, in the drive through at McDonald's and you have the money to pay for the person behind you, do it. Don't just think about, I'm going to do that one of these times. Do it. If you're at Walmart and the, the cashier looks like they're down, ask them how they're doing and wait for an answer. Let them know that you really do care and you really are concerned. You might not have that chance again. You don't know what that person is going through. And I'm here to tell you from my own life, sometimes when people ask me, I have to run through my brain quick a minute. Are they asking because they want to know or are they just being polite? And I don't want to lie, so I have a, I have a polite answer that's true but generic and I have an actual answer when people ask me how am I doing and they want to know I tell them and when I ask you how you're doing I want to know that's why I asked because I really do care right now in my life there's several people that I know are going through things some I've talked to, some I haven't. Some I've tried to talk to, and they're avoiding the conversation. I don't know why exactly. Um, I promise you, I will not judge. I will not condemn. I know that some people just, they've told me anyway, that because of my attitude, they don't want to talk to me. Because of the fact that I don't judge them because I love them unconditionally they avoid that because it makes them feel more guilty knock it off you are precious you are important you matter you matter to me I may not be the person that you want to matter to you may be like for example you may be a young man and you would just really like for some young lady to, to care about you and granted that's that's cool and that's that's understandable you may be a young lady that all, all you really want is a young man to care about you that's fine and you may you know there's all other different you know transgender and gay and lesbian and all that you know you may be looking for something that I can't provide I understand that but if you're hurting and you need to talk to someone or you need someone to be there for you just to be there hit me up I'm available I I do care I do love you I do uh, spend my time doing just that being there for people that really need somebody so while I can't be the 
the person that you're looking for, if you're looking for, I don't know, a date, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, I have a different kind of love for you. I have what I hope is always the love of Christ. I care about you unconditionally. I want to be there for you. And I feel such an urgency, like I said, like a storm is coming, that I want to I want to gather in all, all the animals in the barn so that they can be safe. I want to do all the things that, that you do to protect the things and the people that you love when a storm is coming. I love you guys. I really do. Not just young people. People think because I work mostly with young people that young people are the only ones I care about. And I do absolutely adore my young people. I really do. My Roots Above family is, is um, even though we're, we're, I don't know, all over the place, I absolutely adore my Roots Above family. You guys are tight with me. I'm tight with you. I respect you. I love you. Um, and you mean the world to me. But trying not to make this go on and on, I just want to say I love all of you guys. I want to be there for you. And as long as I have breath in my lungs, I want to continue to do the things that God called me to do. But you are not a project. You are not a job for me. This is my life. I love you guys. You are part of my life. And if you're going through something, if there's something that's happening, if you're overwhelmed, I will pray for you. I will pray with you. I will talk with you. I will listen to you. Um, financially, it's tough for me sometimes to, to get a ride to go somewhere these days. I haven't been well. Um, you kind of it's kind of hit and miss with my my health right now and there's a lot of things going on that that I don't share with just everybody but I love you and I want to be there for you there's certain people that I know I haven't been there for you lately there's a lot of stuff going on I'm doing the best I can but you know if it's just a word that I can if I can just say a word this is that word for you I love you guys, and I still want to be there for you. I still want to be around, and I will do my best to make sure that we get that. So just, hey man, it's it's Tuesday. It's like 8.35 in the morning, and we're all still alive. Let's keep it that way. You don't know what kind of opportunities you're going to have today to reach somebody, and make them feel good you don't know yesterday my my cousin said something to me and it, he probably didn't think it was that big of a deal but it was huge and it really helped encourage me and um, in the last few days people have said things that have been really encouraging to me and it's almost like they know when I really need to hear it and it really does help because no matter how strong you are, no matter how much faith you have, no, ma no matter how um, well you're doing, everybody needs to hear an attaboy every once in a while. Everyone needs to hear, hey, that was cool, or hey, you're cool, or I love you, or you know, just something to make them feel better. Everybody needs to know that they're wanted and that they're appreciated. So I love and appreciate you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Um, the people in the car next door to me probably think I'm crazy. And I am, so they're good. Um, but I love you guys, and I, I hope to see as many of you as possible as soon as possible. If I can find a way to get gas for my vehicle, I will be to see a lot of you today. I have lots of plans for today to see as many people as I can. Fuel is a problem. But God always makes a way. And if not, I will be at home praying for you, loving on you, and thinking about, you know, what I can do to help make your life better. God bless you. I Like I said, I'm praying for you. I support you. I've got your back. Even if you're wrong, even if we don't agree, I still support your right to be wrong or to 
disagree with me. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to stop there because it's been too long anyway. If you've watched this whole video, you are a great friend and I love you. Your family, you just earned it. And, um, you know, I'll pay you later. Thanks. Have a great day. Love you guys so much. Bye now.